Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as I like to call it, CB Cube. I mean, it's more of a rectangle if you look at the box though, right? You know. Oh, I see where you're coming from now. Right. The yeah. rhombus thing from last time. Yeah, that's, I mean, that would still be all equal size. A rhombus would be like if it got hit by a truck. <laughs> like, funk, funk. In which case, everybody's cards would be worth considerably less. Considerably less, but you'd still be worth the same amount of points on this show. Let's hit you with the rules. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. Advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier, and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards, and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards, gives you six points, times two for the energy, and your final score is 12. You have now been struck by the rules. Yeah, and now let's strike you with some Wheel of Energy! The Wheel of Energy! G, 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 G. Are you ready? G. What do you think it's gonna be? Fire? Dude. Fire? Fire? Give me fire? Oh, oh, so close to eyeball energy, but instead it's electric. Do we have a name for that? Oh, nope, not fire, Ben. <laughs> It's electric. It's electric. Or as I like to call it, Pikachu energy. Pikachu energy. Harry Potter scar energy. Oh, that's better. <laughs> All right, before we break into this box, we should also tell you what today's common chase cards are going to be. We have pre-selected them. They are going to be Clink, Smeargle, and Toxicroak. So anyone who gets any of these cards in one of their packs today will get an additional point for that card. Sadly, none of them match up with our type energy. That's when you really start racking them up, but... I, I will say that the clink was showing up a lot it in the last round. So yeah. I feel like there's a good, strong possibility to see to some extra points awarded today. For the clink. Shall we break the box, Benjamin? Let's do it. Let's all do right. It. My favorite part of the whole experience. I know. Yeah, Other than all the rest of it. Yeah. 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 Where we actually get to see the cards. My favorite part is all of it. All of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. If you're just joining us, this is episode two of season three. We're opening Silver Tempest. Uh, thus, for, thus far, atop the leaderboard is Matt Cox with eight points after our first box of cards. It, will anyone overtake him? It feels, it feels attainable. It, it feels does. attainable. Nothing against you, Matt. Great player. Matt great, Cox. Great player, Matt Cox. Now, you'll also recall from last episode that Matt's winning a uh, score came out of the very first pack. The first pack. Will it happen again? Will it happen again? Let's see because, oh, it's a crowd favor, Ben. It is Kimberly Lee kicking off today's episode. Will Kimberly Lee have the same kind of luck that Matt did in the last episode in our first box? Which, if you recall, kicked off with the type advantage. Uh, so if Kimberly Lee here can uh, pull out some Harry Potter scar energy, that would be fan. Fantastic, and she cannot. That no, is weird. No, and, uh, no. Last time we had that mirror box, too. I know, it was really unusual. That it was, was really weird. unusual. Instead, she got a Herbology. The Pharaoh Thorn. Man, a lot of these would have been uh, points last week. There's the clink, though. You were right. I knew it. I knew right it. I knew it. The gate. I told no. him. I was telling him the thing about the clink. Ooh, oh, and just the frost last. So Kimberly Lee coming out uh, into the new season with just a two-point pack there. Although last season, I believe, had 24 points. So a rather competitive player. you got to watch out for Kimberly when we get into the open straights. You absolutely do. You it's, absolutely where, it's, do. Where, it's where she really picks up speed. Right in the middle. You know, it's just a slow start, but that's, that's, that means nothing. Next up, we have Anita, a brand new player this season, the Silver Tempest season. I know, I know. And it feels like Anita is, like, really coming to, like, play. You think so? That's what I think. That's okay. what I think. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to see that. We're going to see one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Would it be? I was wrong. You were the first. Now, sometimes 
the V star marker is then followed up with like a really good pull. But as per the rules this season, the V star marker actually gets you a negative one point. Now you we, can't go below zero though. We do have one person who is currently in last place with zero points. Yeah. One of our moderators over on Discord, Data Rage. Data Rage. So sitting at the bottom of the board, we'll see if anybody's gonna join them. Can Anita join her at the bottom? Which could does put you in a uh, prize contention. It does. It does. Okay. Let's just let's see what we got Sandy here. Gas. The Haulucha, the Togedemaru, okay. the Relic Anth, and, and oh, the Earthen Steel Stone. So the other one, the other Steel Stone from this set is actually the unique one that is worth three points. This one's not, it's just with a single point, which means Dana has now got a, a contender. Company. In the zeroth spot, as I'm going to, I'm going to call it until someone has points in excess. There we go for the Earth and Seal Stone. Man, Anita and Data fighting it out, slugfest at the bottom. Here I was thinking that Anita was going to be, yeah, a top contender, just like Rookie of the Year material. I mean, she could still score. She could still win. She could points. go zero to hero, zero to hero, just like that. Next up, we have Ben C. He is like new to the TCG. Just started playing with uh, son with his son and taking to events on weekends. Hey, that's, that's so exciting. cool! That is Dude, really nothing makes me happier than when I go to Pokemon tournaments and there's just like dad and son and they're just like playing together and like having a good time. And you can tell they play together at home. It's just like I love it. I am twelve thousand percent sure that your that will be you and your sons. I hope so. I was, it's also really fun because like the uh, the the duo I'm thinking of who I see the most like clearly the dad just like lets him have free reign like to come up with his own deck ideas. He's not like maybe try this really competitive thing. He's like because the son always comes up with really wacky creative stuff that like kind of works. That's awesome. Yeah, That's like, awesome. no one else would try this, but you're doing it. <gasps> ben, first of the day. Ben C has the type energy, the type advantage. The type advantage. Let's okay. See. Can they capitalize? I don't feel like there's that many um, electric, electric types, types. I know. in the set. There is the Regilecki. That's true. That's so true. there is that. Although it's not really worth it. There's Although the there's Rojong. The, okay, so that's worth a point. That's worth a point. The Beneri, and there is something back here. Let's see. But, oh my oh. goodness! It is the Lugia V Star, the gold Lugia V Star. And they have a double multiplier on it. And you're right, they have the double multiplier. Oh so my god, we may have just seen the season win. Th this could be it right here, plus a little row top just for a little extra, just extra a little points extra. now. Okay, now, this so. is not the most valuable, not even the most valuable version of this card in the set. That's going to be the rainbow Lugia V Star, but this is going to be like top five. <laughs> this is going to come in at $37.18. Eight points times two. Oh my gosh, what's that gonna put you at? 76? 76? 76 plus, plus the two there for 78 points for uh ben just ben took is... just literally took the all-time leaderboard highest score. That is the highest score we've ever had on the show. On pack number one. On pack number one. Well done to Ben C. Now that said, if someone pulls the Alt Art Lugia V. Uh, with, even without any multipliers, it would still win. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Absolutely Ben amazing. C and his son have got what is not only, so first of all, not only is this an amazing looking card that is super valuable, this is the best card in the game right now. It is the most competitive. It just won Latin America Internationals, um, piloted by Tord Reklev, the best modern player in the game. Uh, yeah, that's a super duper good card. Well done to Ben C and Son. That Bravo. Is, I'm so I, happy for you. I swear I think you summoned a certain kind of energy from Jay by like appealing to that like father-son. Now, Ben, it's so funny that Ben C just pulled that because the very next player is our defending champion, Omega. I think this happened last season, this too. Is, I think you're Four right. Omega. You're right, because the B Grimm was like one pack away from repeating and then had, yeah, had, had, had like I started the round instead of you or something, then uh, B Grimm would have been a two time champion. What and now, is going this on? This is so weird. So. Can you imagine if Omega had pulled that pack just now? They'd have been almost definitely two back to back champions. Tanks. But who's to say? We're still very early in the season. Plenty could go down. Did I open the last one? Um, you did, right? Uh, who opened? The no, one? I did because I had the I had the last, okay, I, had, okay. I had the I had the Harry Potter okay, scar. You're right, the Harry Potter scar. Okay, now let's see. Okay. Now in the last box, they were like mirroring up, and we were getting like double in a row energy. I know. 
Dude, I'm like, my mind is blown right now. That was this a really like, good I've been pull. like, I couldn't believe so far in all of Box Breakers, we haven't had like a really crazy pull yet. And we have officially had a really crazy pull. That was pretty good. Here we go. Let's see what else we can get. The flip. A bam. Oh, oh if only it had been last time. The last episode, that would have been worth something. But this time it is not. How is the our defending croak, champion going to do? They get the Toxic Croak. Our crow, the bell does. Um, the bell toy, toy, the sunkern, the jinx, and, and the, the talon flame. Is the okay. jinx The jinx is not, common. yep. So just two points just on the Just two pack points. There. Now it has to be said, last season, uh, Omega came in on the first round with one point. One. So they're already doing better than their first episode. What was their final finish? Because this was our season champion last. Season champion last with last 58 points. Was 58 points. So and now we have somebody with 78 points on the board. With a single pack. With a single can pack. Some, but this is exciting because now there's like a number to beat for the rest of the season. Like, can someone get there? I know. I know. Every single person now just like pointed their arrows right at. I know. And it's so early. It's so early on. You know, we're still in December. We got to get all the way to February. Like, Ben and his son are going to be sitting there worrying until the February. whole time. <laughs> <That's> I <don't. laughs> so knocks them off. Will it be Jade? Maybe it'll happen right now. Who's to say? Says to who? All right, let's see, Jade. How can we do? Finished last season with 15 points, which means they just missed out on the Big Steve Award, if I recall. A single point. Rock is pumping that. energy. I know. If this was last week, it would have been great. The clang. We're looking for the That's, clink. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, the Toga tomorrow, the Sandile, the Swirlix, the Marini, Indeedy, and... The Amoongus, wow. Oh my God. Unfortunate just, for Jay, just a single point. How she started last season as well, though, was with just a single point. So, you never know. They can still bounce back. Still bounce back. Man, I hope we didn't use all the luck up for the entire box in that one. No way. No, no way. way. There's no way, because Peabody Coco is about to come in and rock it. I Peabody Coco. That. I don't know. There's, there's, there's good energy. Good vibe. Good, good everything. Mm. Let's see. How are they going to do? We'll give it the flip. Wamp. Fire energy, which I was pulling for, but means nothing oh, today. Toxic, toxic croak. croak will count Scores. for something. No smear girls at all yet. Not yet. Some and, and, and the, the little again. So just going to be a two-point pack there for Peabody Coco. Sorry, I called it wrong on you that time. All right, but perhaps our next contestant, Wes Levy, I got Wes right. Levy? Wes Levy. Brand new competitor. Brand new. Brand scene. new to the game. Not unlike Ben. Was Ben C brand new this season? Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Man, that is how you come out guns blazing. First pack, lottery. Or as I like to call it, buns glazing. Buns glazing indeed, Ben. C. Some. Hey, that's me. That's you. That's also you. All right. How is Wes Levy going to do the fire? fire? This, is, this, this is so it's just weird. It's happening. It just keeps, keeps happening. happening. The Araquanids, the Stone Journer, the Ball Toy, Sunkern. Clink. Clink. Yes. <laughs> they look so similar. Clink and Clang. Rapidash is a star, so that gets you one. And the Dragonite. Hey, that honestly, this gives me like super old school vibes to the, it does. Um, like the, was fossil, it the fossil Dragonite. Set? Yeah. yeah. I do, I do love that. It just gives me some like serious nostalgia. That's a that's a fun one. That is really cool. Still only gonna be a three-point pack though. But very fun. The Dragonite can be used in the uh, the Reggie Drago V deck that is uh, part of this set as okay. well. Yeah, you put that in your discard pile, then you can start using its attacks for way cheaper, which is pretty cool. But now we have Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop. She is another brand new patron this season. Do you think Shadow Loop is like a jeweler's loop, but it's like a loop used to look at like examined shadows? How would you examine shadows? That's the whole thing. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> okay, I, I don't it, know about jeweler's loops either. It's like the little, like, like... Oh. That thing that they use? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm energy. energy. Hey, that's fun. The Way Lord, the oh, Rage... Oh, the Raichu. That's a point. Oh, you're right. Electric type. Oh, my goodness gracious. There have been so few of them. I know. The Phoebus would have been last. Now the Belt And... Oh, oh the Alolan Vulpix! Yay! I do love uh, this version horrible. of Vulpix. It's just so cute. Now it's on the box art, but is that going to be worth anything? That's the question. I know. I think there's a couple of the Vulpix, and maybe one of them is. This one is worth one dollar thirteen, so it does oh. bump you up to two points. So three on the box. Three on the box. And the Raichu, if you're really interested, is actually in the box to fight off the Lugia as well. It happens that its uh, its effect is basically. Um, if your opponents use their V-Star power and Lugia almost uses it immediately all the time, then this attack does the exact amount of damage needed to knock out Lugia. So that's why, so. It's, in, that's why it's in there. Uh, 
Anyway, next up, oh man, another crowd favorite here. It's Strange Hamburger. The strangest. The strangest. Let's see, can they have some strangely good luck? Been watching SCB since she was 12. That's a long time, a long unless time. you're 13. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> at, at, at that point in your life, though, that's still like 8% of your life. You Pretty know? solid, so. you know? All right, Strange Hamburger. Bam. High ball oh, energy. Man, yeah. I swear. They're like something, printing them side by something side. Something is the foot. Something yeah. is the foot with this set. The Fletchinder, the Venonat, the Ralts. Man, the, the lightning energy is not getting you a ton. Although well, there's one. The oh, Metal we, we say that except that the type advantage still scored big. That's an awesome card right there. That full That's art. awesome. That yeah. trainer gallery yeah. and the Braviary. So it's at least three points. The Malamar could be worth a little bit more. Let's take a quick peek it's here. TG30? No, TG06. TG06, okay. And let's see. It's going to be worth 67 cents on that one. So a three point pack. Three point parts for Strange Hamburger, but you probably pulled one of the strangest Pokemon in that Malamar. There we go. For sure. Is a Malamar kind of candy? You know Is it? I'm thinking, thinking of. I like marmalade. Marmalade. Marzipan. Carmelo. Car Is that was that a candy bar? Do you remember those? Carmelamar. It does sound right. You're yeah. right. There's something in there. Yeah. Something in that vein. I don't know. We'll think about it. I'll put my brain on it. There here. you go. Yeah. yeah. Let it go. Work in the background. Vincent. Coming up, this was the Big Steve winner from last season. Oh, with the with the the very very the only person in the whole season to score fourteen points. Big Steve had thirteen. Many people had fifteen. Only one person had fourteen. And this was Vincent. And it was Vincent. Let's see. All but can right. they repeat? It's hard to say because we don't know where Big Steve's final score is going to be yet. He currently has two points on the season though, so it would be hilarious if Vincent lands at three. It would be very funny, just sort of like that's that's sort of like Vincent's like mo is <clears> like <throat> just just follow Big Steve around. And I I do see that he's getting at least one type advantage point here already. Okay, let's see here. All right, but no no energy. He's just looking for three, you know. Just looking for three. three. There's okay. the one. There's the one. Mm -hmm. Benira the drowsy. Spinarak, Litten, and the Incineroar. So just two. So tied with Big Steve. It's tied still a good spot to right, be. Right, yeah. So just like pacing off of Big Steve. Right. You know, yeah. you, want to, you want to pace off the leader until the last lap. Then you sprint ahead and beat them by a nose. By a nose. I like to think of this a lot like professional bike riding. Yeah. Pro professional cycling. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. You know, these, these two sports, randomly pulling cards on the internet and like biking over mountains uh, for days at a time, very similar. They're very consistently compared as basically being the same thing. Basically the same sport. Um, that's why, you know, we are so fit. Because we do this all the time. Well, we open tons of Pokemon we cards. So many Pokemon That's cards. what does it. All right, next up we have Nickel, and they are coming into the season. Uh, they only played one round last time. They had three points. So, coming in, hopefully they can outdo their entire season. There is something poking out back there. You see so something? I do see, see something. something. Okay. Oh, they got a Clang. No, the Clang is not it. We're looking for the Clang. You're right. The wow. emergency jelly, the Noi Bat. There is. I can see it sticking out back there. It's oh, just, the Radiant oh. Serena. So, that's something. And then, is the, how, how big are we going to have here? The mall, there's the full art mall aisle V. Okay. okay so that could be anywhere. This feels like it could probably be like a $5 card or something. Let's see. It's so going to be at, uh, let's see, it's 178. Yeah, so the Serena is still just worth a single point there. Right. And then number 178, what <laughs> will that do for us? 178 will worth $2.61, so three, three points. So four points on the pack, already better than your whole season last season. That's what you want to see. Well done. New year, new me. Exactly, exactly. Except it's a new season until next month, in which case we can say new year. Me. Yeah. We'll try to make a mental note to remind you that next year, New you. January. Yeah. yeah. Megan Stevens, next up on the uh on the round here. They finished last season with eight points. Megan. Man, is this me? Is it me? Did I just go? I just went. It's your turn, right? Yeah. Because I could see it peeking back. You're right. You're right. You're wow. Right. Well, we almost threw off everything. We almost did like a little like marker that we can like slide back and forth as to like who's yeah. it was. But we probably yeah. forgot to move it. I know. Like, Wait, did I move it? Did I, did, I, did I move the marker? I think so. Just don't mind me. Just... Come on, man. We've only had, have we had only, no, we've had a couple of, of Scar energy. Right, yeah, of, of Harry Potter's Lightning Bolt Scar. One of which happened to be on the rarest card we've ever pulled. So. Yeah, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's how you want to win, right there. There you go. Double leg. <laughs> Instead, we got a teardrop energy. People knew it was going to happen eventually. They just hoped it was going to be them. I know, I know. Everybody everybody knows coming. Hey, the Pikachu, Pikachu that's worth something. 
The Dupider, the Dene, and the Rapidash. The Rapidash. I Super. so wish the Rapidash was worth something. It looks so cool. It does look really cool. I feel like we're pulling a lot of those Rapidashes this season. Yeah. It's just quite quite a plenty. Quite a plenty. So, that's so two right. points on that pack. Two points on that for Megan. Megan. All right. Next up, we have Cartavian. Now, this is someone everyone's always rooting for Cartavian. But last season, they just couldn't pull it out. They only had eight points on the season. There. But... But, like, you know, there's always that potential energy that's also sitting in the back of everybody's minds as well. It's like the longer somebody waits for liftoff, the more yeah. explosive it will eventually be. Boom. Here we go. So no, no scar energy on this. The Lantern, another, an actual, uh, a rare score there. The Chin Chow. Okay. Okay. Look at this. Here we go, Cartavian. Ariadis, that's a rare card. And the Regidrago V. Oh, oh man. Right. Look at that. Okay. At least four scoring cards. Um, how does the Regidrago do it? 135. 135. I do believe that there's an alt art Regidrago. Uh, that's a dollar sixteen, so that's oh. worth two. Okay, so, so two, that's three, a five point pack. Five point pack. There we go. That's amazing. Um, I think there's a pretty high value alt art. Oh yeah, there is. Version of, and I think you pulled it. I have pulled it. Yeah, yes. we do own it, and it is awesome. It I is a very value. beautiful card. Yeah. I love the alt art. We haven't pulled any alt arts uh, so far. So we're this due. Season. So we're due. Yeah, someone's gonna get one. Someone's gonna get those beautiful alt art cards from the set. This now, uh, maybe it'll be Josh. Josh! Yeah. All right, Josh. Josh doing the hard work. We're security at a mall on third shift. That's 12 to 8 a.m. I hope you're watching this during that shift and you're getting your good shout out right now. Yeah. It's just making the night all the more fun. A little bit, maybe this is making it more passable. But it's probably hard, the, <laughs> this is the busiest time of the year for malls. Yeah, yeah, big time for malls. <laughs> Capturing Aroma, Waylord, Raichu. Oh, Raichu for the point. Swablu. Swablu. That's pretty uh, snorbable. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. It's a little, it turned, it's a dragon deck. There we go. There's there's another. Well, six. The Verizion, that's a rare. Oh, yep. Yeah, the there we Zygar. go. Boom, so four. Four. On the, there you go. A very you hard go, spot four points for Josh. No doubt. Who's hard working right now yeah. at probably 3.27 a.m. Wow. God, can you imagine? That sounds about like, <laughs> like, like you're, you're like, sitting there like in the dark by yourself and you're Josh like, is clocked into the mall. He's done his rounds and now he's like, well, now it's three. So I could probably get away with watching some YouTube right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You'll have to let us know. How close were we to 3.27 a.m.? Yeah, we leave watched. a comment. Leave a comment. All right, next up we have Jesse. Jesse from Toy Story 2. Jesse from Toy Story 2 and 3 and 4. And 4. Yeah. Jesse is a character in all of us and in Monsters, Inc. Exactly. In that one spot. In that one spot. In Boo's room. The Pixar theory. Anyway, let's see how Jesse's gonna do. Can we get another scar energy? We no, cannot. Sure. No, no, I swear it is back. happening. It is, it is something is definitely on. Oh over. man, I see some shiny. I, I see, see some, some shiny. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it looks like full art. I, I'm guessing full art trainer. Uh, based on just the shine I can see. So maybe it'd be that Serena. It could be the Serena, which is worth $53. That would just be for what it's worth. wild. It puts you in a very comfortable second place. So we haven't had a single Samir Pikachu. Pikachu, but here, oh no, it's not gonna be because it's just the, uh, oh, it's a Raihan. That's gonna be awesome. That is full art Raihan. So it was a full art trainer and the Gardevoir, but that's gonna be pretty good. Raihan's extremely competitive and a very beloved character. All right, let's see. Yeah, so TG27 on that one is going to come in at $5.90. Okay, so, so six, six seven, seven, eight. Eight, eight, eight points. Pack, man. man, so this this batch, this box so far has been a lot more competitive than last week's it box so has. far. Despite being way less uh, lightning Pokemon in this set. Right, it's very interesting to see that that kind of playing out a little bit. Yeah, but... What is the most common in this set? Do you know offhand? I think it's... It's water. Water. Or is that what call it teardrop? Yeah, teardrop. Yeah. But I okay. don't I don't know for sure. I know when I was opening them, it was very obvious that there was one. Maybe it was rock is pummeling. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't really well, it does matter because that's how you gotta score points. Right. But anyway, next up is Dakota. Dakota. Am I up? Uh yes. Yes, because yes. I had the Raihan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dakota is another one of those who uh, she plays Rocket League with us once a month during the uh, gaming with patrons. That's right. It is one of our tiers over on Patreon if you'd like to set, check it out. Uh, you do automatically get included in the Box Breakers tier if you sign up for that gaming with patrons tier. And once a month you get a full hour of Rocket League with Jay and I and Dakota and John. Yeah. And if enough people sign up, we'll, and we'll, we'll switch games to, some, to, you know, to accommodate. There you go. All right. So we got... 
Got the leaf. Got the leaf. Followed by another leaf. Mm -hmm. Followed by a place with leaves. <laughs> followed by a electric looking by Pokemon a, that's not electric. Not Pikachu. <laughs> followed by. A not Pikachu oh, kitten. Smeargle. First Smeargle. Smeargle. A point. Hey, there we go. Oh, I love okay. that Esper. That is a very cool Esper. Oh, Chincho scores. That's a point. Oh, oh Rainy Nazam. Nazam. That's going to be a one point right there. There we go. And the Keldeo. So it looks like a four point pack overall for Dakota. Not bad, not bad. Well done, Dakota. Finished last season with seven points. So they're already like over halfway there. She she definitely hasn't had like the, the most like remarkable pulls to date yet, which she does like to remind us of during those gaming sessions. Well, we asked her about it last time because she has been at the gaming with patrons level for so long that when this game rolled along, she just sort of got like defaulted into it. So yeah. like, Yes, I have much use for the Pokemon cards. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, this Dakota. Is, this is great. Next up, Beck Squad. Beck Squad. All right, is it, it is me now. Yeah, I can remember who went. Beck Squad finished last season with 25 points. Had a very good showing. Very, very good showing. 25, super competitive. Super competitive for Beck Squad. Looking to have a repeat finish here today. Yes. This indeed. season. Bam, Leaf. It's the same thing again. It's You're definitely right. a thing. It is a thing. It is definitely a thing. The Corellia, the Venom, the Clink scores. Clinks, that's the point. Wilmer, yeah. Dratini, Phoebus. Oh, Amolga scores and Crobat. So three point pack right there. Several good uh, little scoring opportunities for you, but only three total Beck squad. That's like okay. A, nothing like a good old fashioned Crobat headed your way. That's right. And next up, Linwood. 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 Linwood is apparently working on a documentary on the history of Newport, Kentucky. Hey! All right. How about that? That's cool. I once installed a very big aquarium in Lexington, Kentucky. It was a restaurant called Coba Casino, which is not there anymore, but it was a very large jellyfish aquarium. Oh, my brother-in-law lives in Lexington, Kentucky. How about that? Hey! We have the type advantage. We got a type Can advantage. Can we get some big, maybe, now we want another big pull. I know, now we want something really, really exciting to go Here down. Here we go. So far, Can we someone got. Someone compete with Ben C. Let's see, let's see. I'll Not pass. looking like a very good pack so far. That is, oh no, the oh, clang. clang. Oh, oh my no, gosh. Just a two point pack Just then? a two point pack, although wow. it does set up some potential for your next pack to have that lightning bolt energy. Oh, you're right, because that does seem to be the trend, doesn't it? All right, it let's see. Maybe Alyssa can also grab herself an electric type advantage right here in the pack. Um, Alyssa loves to cosplay, draw, and write stories. Maybe this will be the story of how you win the day. Hey! That would be honestly extremely remarkable and very thrilling. All right, can't, let's see if the pattern continues. Yes! It does! What it, is going on? What is going on? at the Pokemon packing facility. I have no this idea. is so weird. All right, all right. It makes, it makes me think that there are packing machines that are all energy specific. Oh, that's absolutely it, how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is just a oh, lantern. lantern. So that's worth that's two. two this time. The Dratina, the Chin Chow is gonna be so worth two. That's four two. points right there. The Dupider, capturing aroma, and the Victini. Okay, so I think that's just a six point pack overall, but still, way to cash in. Great uh -huh. use, yeah. What was otherwise a, a rather unremarkable pack yep. definitely gets your points placed in there. Gets well done, well there. done. You know, you didn't capitalize quite as well as Ben C did. I don't want to, you know. We don't want to compare. We don't want to compare Alyssa's to Ben C's, but Ben But there's C, a 72 point difference. <laughs> there's a big difference <laughs> in the way you guys have played the game, that's all I'm saying. Next up is Emerald Phoenix. Emerald <laughs> Phoenix is another one who's been a long time patron of all the various SCB <laughs> shows, so shout out to Emerald. Uh, had 21 points last season. I think also did reasonably well uh, in season one, although we don't so. have the data for season one on us right this second. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do here for you, Emerald. Give the flip. Bam, oh, Rock the rock's pummeling. pummeling. Okay. Yeah, only. Torkak, Claydol, Worker, Fletchling, Dratini, oh, the, the Stunfist. Stunfist. That's our first one of those. The Clink is a point. Clink is a point. So the Mara, the Growlithe, the and, and the Arcanine. The Arcanine. How so about that? Three point start for Emerald there on the day. Not two shabs. Not, not two shabs. Not two but, you shabs. Know, it's it's really hard to compare now because we have this giant leader on the board that just feels insurmountable. It does feel you a know? little bit that way. It's, like it's everyone's really... suddenly like, its place seems great. It's <laughs> yeah. great. Eighth Big Steve Award. Big Steve Award. Let's Last go. place. Last place. Also a big battle there with the double zeros happening. So let's see. Next up we have Chase. Oh, oh, this is uh, Dola. This is uh, competitor Dola's 
son. Younger son. Younger son. Yeah. All right. So shout out to Chase. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh no, but Chase has the dreaded V Star card for the negative one. Although, oh, get no. this though. Get this. They call them Chase cards. That's right. Right. You're right. So and his name is Chase. Let's see if we can get some Chase cards for Chase. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Gold bat, Meowstic, Halucha, Togan Amaru, Pet Love, the Pikachu. The Pikachu, that'll get you Please. back to. Back to. Back to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back. That's, that doesn't help. Right, yeah, that, that that is, not, it does because there will be a star. Right, yeah. So absolutely. that at least gets you to one point. The Esper and the Verizion. So just a so single just a point, single for, point Chase. for Chase. Would have only been a two point pack either way. But there you go. Well done. Well done, Chase. Welcome to the competition. Welcome to the party. Chase, uh, I would also like to, we should let everyone know, loves hippos and collects pins. Hey! There you go. Hippos are great. Hippos are great. Do you have a favorite hippo? I think once upon a time on the Super Carlin Brothers channel, I made a video about like, what if we had like, 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 to like you know how there's like a like toy dogs. Yeah. You know, like like they like breed them so they're like real small. Right. But like if they have like a small hippo. Small hippo. Like the size of like a chihuahua, but yeah. it's a hippo. Man. Because hippos are very dangerous given yeah. their like extremely large size and willingness to just stampede you down. Yeah, they're pretty dangerous. Right, and they yeah. can also hold their breath for a long time. Mm. What do they call a group of them? A float? A, a float, float? A bloat? A bloat of hippos? That sounds about right. Man, we saw, um, uh, I think the world's most famous hippo is Fiona at the Cincinnati Zoo. Wow. We saw we saw her at, um, we saw her in person with Luke. Did Once upon a time. It? Did you touch it? We couldn't touch it, but it, she That's swam cool. right up to the glass, right in front of Luke. He was very excited. That is very thrilling. It was fun. Next up we have Narwhal King, speaking of underwater menaces. Are narwhals known for underwater menaces? Well... I mean, if they exist, then I can't imagine how they wouldn't be. Well, yeah, I guess that's fair. I was watching a documentary once upon a time where I discovered that narwhal's skin has a very unusually high amount of vitamin C. Wow. It's like comparable to like that of an orange. That is surprising. It is, and so I think the people, the, they, they are hunted very carefully. Uh -oh. Look at this. Now look at this. It should be no surprise. It should be no surprise whatsoever, so we got our V card there. Um, they come in doubles. They do. Um, <laughs> The people who do hunt those narwhals, though, it's like one of the only ways they can get vitamin C. That is wild. I don't know. I don't know. Toxicro! Okay, Toxicro! Yeah, there's, there's a go. point. There you go. You'll be at at least one point. We know that. This is a very dark deck so far. I know. Wow. What is going on? We have the dark energy. I know. Ooh, oh, the, the jigs! The trainer gallery jigs. So I've heard so many people love the art on this card. I love it. It looks like it looks like uh, Helen from The Incredibles, who's like hanging out with Jinx there. That's what I keep thinking. Oh man, do you see it a little bit? I do see it. It yeah. is a member of the Elite Four, who is that that okay. uh, actual character. And then the Noi Vern. Okay, so that's gonna be okay. So Toxic <coughs> cancels out with the V Star. Right. The Jinx. Let me double check the value. I don't think it's worth a whole. Lot. I do think it is still just gonna be a single point Let's, card. Yeah, so eighty two cents <laughs> for yep. that. So that'll be one point in the Noi Vern. It'll be one point. So Two points, Two on points the back. total for Narwhal King. Either way, beautiful card headed the other way. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Also, thank you guys for listening to my rant about narwhals. Yeah, Ben loves to rant about narwhals. Yeah. All right, next up is Dalton Green, who uh, finished the season. Only had one pack last season. Had a had a five. So only okay. Looking to do a little bit better this season. Here's the thing, though. When you come in late in the season and everybody's already kind of acclimated and you're just kind of like getting your feet wet, mm -hmm. like it makes sense. It makes sense. But you know what? Good warm ups today before the round started. Yep. Saw them out there kicking field goals. Yeah. Looking great. Maybe Dalton is going to hit us with some big thing now that I got this. The Rock is pummeling energy. So hitting us. Yeah. yeah so nail, nail nailed the head that. for that one. Gym trainer. That makes sense. You yeah, know, of course. Given their. Uh, Behavior so far. The Pharaoh seed. The Smeargle's a point. The, point yep. the Swablu. Oh, the oh. Cabalion. Okay, so just a two point pack there for Dalton Green. Either way, the warm ups are important, you know? They are very important. They're, then there's always next month, too. There's, there's always, always next, next month. month. Maybe you could pull the Gold Louis Gia. Maybe you could. Maybe you could. Or maybe Tyler Siegel is going to pull out some massive big pull for us here right at the end. Sorry, this isn't the end. This isn't the last one. That was very misleading. It was a strange misleading. way to go about saying we that. We still sentence. have about one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, about seven more packs. We got plenty to go. There's plenty to go. Okay, yeah. all right. So let's see here. So one, two, three, four. And we'll give it the flip, the fireball energy. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Siglyph, Jim Trainer. Jim Trainer, Whalmer, Logan's Olga, point. Durant. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Hang on. I'll put that down. Put that down there. Yeah, 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 there yeah. we go. Yep. Yeah. Durant. Durant, Durant. Venomoth. Is that, is that no, a star? It's no. not. And oh, and the Reuniclus. There you go. Man, wow. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I love 
love Reunicles. I like think it's such a fun Pokemon. I definitely would have just absolutely butchered <laughs> that, and it would have been so ineffective due to the very gelatinous nature. Yeah. You yeah, can't butcher Jello. All right, next up we have Kernak! Kernak! Kernak. Uh, let's see. Kernak's second season playing with us. They finished last season with a mere 10 points, so let's see if they can do a little bit better this time around. A, a mere 10. Yeah. Now, that being said, like this this box has been way crazier than the last box. Like, it's true. The last box, the best uh, pack we had was eight overall. Yeah, this, now obviously this one went up to 70, so yeah, it's been all over the place. <laughs> Things have been wild. Things have been wild. This is a fireball energy to no one's surprise because the way they package these is just bananas, apparently. Drowsy, spin rack. Maybe it's eyeball energy that's the most common. Jeez. Oh, could be. Rock a rock. And the Zara Aura. So that's actually going to be a two point pack on the Zara Aura because of the type advantage. Type advantage. There you go. Working it. There, there you, you go. go. Mm hmm. And I say it's a weird strategy to go for the type advantage to score two because you're so close to the bottom, you may as well go for the zero. I know, I know. So, I mean, yeah. just better luck next time. That's all. That's all. Oh, next up, let's see. Was this our last place uh, winner last time? It was Blue Malamute. Mute. Ma Malamute. Blue Malamute. Because I said it wrong, and the whole office corrected me. Malamute. Oh, no, I, felt I, said like it wrong too. I felt like it was an honest mistake, and everybody was like, wow, wow, wow. Common it word, much. Last season, Blue Malamute. Uh, won the last place award by a single penny. A single penny. We had to like literally go back. It was a tie. We had to go back to the true card values yeah. to see who had it. And it was a single penny that decided the difference between yes. those two packs. So, so. Uh, big win. Big win. Congratulations on your elite trainer box. Let's see how very, we're very this powerful season. and impactful penny difference. Highball and energy. Eyeball. Okay. There we go. Tora Cat. Sand. For the low ball again. I know. Look this at this. Is their look game. Okay, second, second double Phoebus. Phoebus yeah. And, and oh, oh but then the we have the But I have a feeling it's still just gonna be a single point. It's, but it'll be worth two because but you're it right because of the yeah, type of advantage. So let's see yeah. here. Let's just double check. Number fifty-seven on the set. We want to be sure that we get it correct. Is going to be worth ninety-one cents. Mm -hmm. So so close, but still just gonna be worth two points. There you go. Using that uh, that lightning advantage to your advantage. Blue Malamute though, still obviously gunning for that bottom spot. It's very it's part clear. Of their, part of their game. It's part of their legacy. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. They want the they want the repeat victory there. Next up, we have Anna. <laughs> <laughs> who I am seeing, I unbelievably uh, missed out on missed out on the bottom spot last time. By a single one. penny. So we'll see if Anna and Blue Malamute continue their deadly rivalry into season three. Here, um, can they get less than two points and beat Blue Malamute? The game is the foot. The game is the foot. I'm glad these two ended up right next to each other. I know that's very exciting. It's like yeah. they're like a like a match made in. Last place. Exactly. And there's the eyeball energy, so they're still playing each other very closely. Very closely. Yep. You know, yeah. Uh, Match man man defense. Steps. Yep. Got the Durant. Oh, no, but there's the Emolga. That okay. could hurt. Oh, oh, the, the Stunfisk. The oh. like Glalie and the Archeop. So just like last time, ah, Blue Malamute remains ahead by a single point in the race for the bottom. Wow. Not that either of them is winning right now because we have two people with zero points. We do have two people with zero points. <laughs> Very impressive that that happened so far. We, we have just introduced a new rule for this season, which is that if you get that <laughs> D star car, you lose a whole point. You do. And two people have taken advantage of it quickly to scoot themselves into firm last place, but they obviously have big competition from last season's contenders. There you go. All right. Here we have Sammy. Sammy! All right, Sammy. Possibly my sister-in-law. Probably. But, 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 but yeah. But no. Could you even imagine if that was the case and she didn't tell me? That would be so funny. And I'm like, sit, I'm like, I, like mailing her cards. Nothing would shock me. I know, I know. Bam, metal energy. Metal All right. energy, okay. Behem, emergency jelly, jelly, Serena, Vulpix, Drowsy, Growlithe, Mischievous, Murkrow. Sandy Gas and Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, it's an alt art! Here we go! It is the Alt Art Skuntank V, which is the card to me that proves that someone at Pokemon watches Super Carly Gaming because Noel, our beloved Skuntank, was such a big deal. And look who else is on the card with Noel, Ben. A little Paris. A little Paris is a up there in the corner. A little Paris. This is basically a made friend. This one comes with like 100 J points, too. Oh my gosh. Which are not redeemable for anything from what's not. Worth, just to be clear, but you know, either way. 
So number 181, I do remember that when this set came out, Jay was very excited about this particular card. I am excited about it. It has two of my favorite Pokemon on it. I know, all right. Let's or see. two of the Nuzlocke's favorite Pokemon. Let's see. That is a solid pull. Yeah. At $24.29. Oh my god. A 25 foot pack. Wow. Dang. Your, potentially your sister-in-law, Sammy, is doing really good. But yeah, potentially my sister-in-law, Sammy, but probably, probably not. Probably not her. But, okay. Oh my goodness, what a pull! That's, I told you someone was gonna get the alt art, and that is a gorgeous one right that there. Is. This might be our most valuable box we've ever opened. I know, no doubt. All right. We have two more people, though. Let's see if we can uh, round it out with an even wilder finish here. Oh, here we go. Doe! So we had Chase earlier. This is Chase's mom. This is Chase's mom. Also does gaming with patrons with us. Yeah, so you want to hang out with all these people. Have a good time. I know. I know. It's a hooting and hollering good time. Yeah. We are, you know, we're, we're, we're Rocket. We're Legan. We're both in. Exactly. Something like that. Let's see. Can Doe beat her son? Metal Energy. We're about to find Let's out. We're, We're about to find, find out. out. Right now, Candice, Trimeco, Spinarak, the Emolga. Counts for a point. The Veneer, the Sigla. And there is something back uh -oh, there. Uh -oh, and, something getting out. Oh, it's a Rusher MV! Hey! If I had to guess, uh, this is going to be a two point pack. You are correct. 72 yeah. cents. Yeah. 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 Rusher MV. That's bulk V cards right there for sure. That's I'm just trying to bulk make you feel better right. about yourself. But actually, you pulled a bad card. <laughs> Sorry, Doe. Dola is absolutely losing her mind right no, now. No, she's not. Dola loves it. Oh my gosh, let's see. Oh, I'm running out of, I'm running out of space in my box. It's okay. I get, why didn't I think to do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up, final pack of the episode. We have Collard Cow 41. Collard Cow 41. Okay, Collard Cow 41. Let's see what we can do. Collard Cow, then, I'll have you know, enjoys making pizza. How about collard greens? Yeah, well. Maybe that's the kind of pizza they make. Co collard and cow. Yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of ground well, beef. When we were doing that, um, the Thanksgiving J vs Ben spicy wing challenge. Yeah. One of the hot sauces we considered was collard green flavored. It was terrible. It was a truly it was like awful. So bad. We we sampled it in the office, <laughs> and one of our editors, Riley, was like, "No, I love collard greens." And he came over and he was like, "Oh no, no not, not these. Not like this. It, not not like this. No." Mm -mm. Capturing a room. Oh well, Lord, the Raichu will scores, get you one. The Chinchou will get you one. The Pikachu will get, get you one. Let's see here. The Solosis and the, the Frostlass. Frost so that's going to be a four point pack to end on. There we go. <clears throat> well done, everybody, on the day. And especially well done to uh, Ben C and his gold Lugia V Star with a type advantage multiplier. Plus the little Rotom in there just for fun. Which might have been the only Rotom we also pulled all day now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that yeah, just, just like a little like <laughs> wink. A just a little wink. like, you know, just a little yeah. extra. A little extra. Very well done all the way around. Very exciting box. Literally coming into the day, the high score was <clears throat> eight points yeah. by Matt Cox, who unfortunately, Matt for Matt, uh, was, was left in the dust <laughs> by, by a mere 70 points. Yeah. Um, I think he's sitting in fourth. Uh, okay. Tied or tied for third with eight at okay. the moment. Okay, I believe. So very, very competitive play showed up here in uh, season two. three, yeah. week two. That's a good way to phrase it. Yeah. Season three, week two. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out ways to be like, how do I do like the whatever? <clears throat> anyway, that's how we'll do it from now on. Uh, but guys, as ever, if you would like to sign up for Box Breakers uh, and you want to get in on the month of January's openings, you just need to be sure that you sign up by December 31st. That's going to be over at Patreon com slash super carlin gaming select the box breakers tier or if you want to join us for an hour of rocket league a month you can check out that gaming with patrons tier yeah. link to all that is in the description down below otherwise until next time bye